people are blaming us for the litter problem. Well, I won't stand for it. Oh, yeah. Here, here. Coca-Cola is tired of making a bunch of garbage and then getting yelled at for making all that garbage. Philip Morris concurs. When you think about it, it's the customer's fault for throwing our garbage away. Dixie Cup agrees. We'll blame the customer. I know a better word for them. Litter bugs. And so, with the help of over 20 companies, they founded the original anti-litter group, Keep America Beautiful. Wait, Keep America Beautiful was founded by litter companies? Yep. These companies actually popularized the term litter bug and shifted the litter blame from themselves onto you. And all of this culminated in Keep America Beautiful's most famous ad, The Crying Indian. No. No, not that beautiful ad. I'm afraid so. The most famous PSA in history was actually a piece of corporate propaganda. And all of this totally worked. Bottle bans were struck down, and Americans started blaming ourselves for the litter problem. Eat that can didn't kill Bessie. I killed Bessie. I'm a litter bug! And today, we're stuck with disposables. And every year, over 100 billion beverage containers end up wasted, either in landfills or incinerators, or yeah, just plain littered. Now look, I want to be clear. If you litter, you're a jerk. But these companies threw out an effective recycling system and instead asked us to pick up their trash. And their marketing campaign helped create an entire green culture that blames individuals for pollution rather than the companies making it. That's terrible. Well, from now on, I'm going to stop supporting companies that pollute and I'll only buy green products like my hybrid. And pretty soon, I'm going electric with a brand new Tesla. Wait, you already have a hybrid, but you're gonna buy a brand new electric car? <laughs> that choice can actually hurt the environment. Pretty 